this is auto clustered. You know, you, the algorithm will cluster things for you, but it's not always right. Actually, this data, actually, Sumcher actually um, put this together. He refined it. You can refine the clusters, and to do that, you can just press, press the shift key, and you can say, you know what, any dot in here now, I want to call a header zygote, and see what that did. All of a sudden, it, this this um, dot in this area right over here um, now is going to be called as a header zygote. Um, in the past, and I'm just holding down the shift key uh, to give me the capability to shrink this. In the past, that was either homozygote or what you probably want to do with the way I would call that guy, to be honest, is do that and say, I'm not very sure of that. The you know, black spot means a no call. I'm just, it's in the fuzzy area. You know, I rather not have bad data. Than, I'd rather have no data than, than bad data. So you can, so you have the opportunity to define these clusters, essentially. Um, we had 96 here, so 96 going through 96 clusters and defining things is not too bad. But I just said we have 8,784, and, um, <clears throat> and so what I'm going to show you is um, how to. So what's, one of the things SolCap is going to do, and, uh, and I'm not putting, the, you know, we're going to generate a bunch of data on our chip and then probably let's say in a couple months it'll take us I'll say in January sometime I'm not promising the exact date one of us is going to go through 8784 8, data points and design and really refine the clusters based on our data set so that'll give you in a sense a base uh, for you to call your data on relative to our data so you may refine your data set or have to look at some data sets, but it should be in pretty good shape uh, relative to our data. One of the things you are not, that we notice here, for example, unless you're doing hybrids, you're not going to see much in this heterozygous class um, in a lot of your tomato lines. So that data set will clearly need more refinement. Um, with potato, we actually have the opposite. When we look at this data set in potato, we have so many heterozygotes. We have more heterozygotes than homozygotes because everything is heterozygous and not a tetraploid potato. And so, Clearly, if we define a cluster file based on this data set only, which doesn't have that many heterozygotes, it's not really going to do a good job defining the heterozygous class if you're running a bunch of hybrids, for example, um, in your samples. So that will need refinement. So I'll give you an example of how to, um, what a cluster file will do. So I'll just focus on this very SNP over here. The, so now I've refined, I've changed this cluster here on SNP88, and you know, I'm saying it's looking like this. And I can save that, and then every time if I add new samples for SNP number 88, that's the way it's going to call the data. So anytime I see a data point in this area, it's going to call it heterozygote, and it's going to call it homozygote over here. But what I can do is, um, so remember what I've done over here. So this is my new changed file. What I can do is I'm going to say import cluster positions. Because so first of all, I can export that file, and so it remembers how all the clusters are for those, all those SNPs. So you can say every time I see this SNP, this is how I'm going to call it. These are the boundaries for my clusters. So I can export that so that I could use that in other files, but I can also import what somebody else has done. For example, SolCap. <clears throat> I go to SolCap. And I just I did this just before this um, this talk. I exported Sumcher's uh, cluster positions and cluster files, and this is the file name. They're called EGT files. I can click on that, and I'm saying I'm going to import those cluster files. I open that. It's reclustering the data like Sumcher did. Remember, I've got this now this narrow heterozygous class. So now it's called all the SNPs the way Sumcher would have with his data set. So this is a good way, it's probably, you know, if I was generating a brand new data set, this is likely going to be a better, you know, I'll say this with a grain of salt, a better way to start to, to look at your, your data set. You know, work with clusters on real data as opposed to a general algorithm that um, Genome Studio has to try to cluster files. So Genome, Al Genome Studio basically is just looking at, you know, how can I separate this into three classes? 
but you may have data showing, you know what, I really know this is the hybrids. I really know these are homozygotes. 